Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, as always, back with another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. Now, before we get into the predictions, guys, I do want to talk to you guys about a few things. So, before we get into those Zero Predictions, guys, I do want to talk to a lot of the new viewers. So, over the last weekend or so, we did gain about 500 subscribers here on the channel. And honestly, that's just freaking ridiculous, guys. I wanted to, first off, just say thank you. I really couldn't believe it when I checked up this morning and just saw all the crazy amount of subscribers that we had gained over the past weekend so if you're new to the channel or really just subscribed recently i definitely just want to say thank you guys hopefully you guys are enjoying your stay here on the channel are enjoying some of the content be sure to drop a comment down below if you guys are new i definitely want to try to learn some of your guys' names as the community is growing a bit fast now and i'm really pretty hyped about it so definitely just thank you guys for that be sure to drop a comment down below just so i know you guys are i definitely try to learn a lot of the people here on the channel and i definitely do know and have a lot of you guys added on playstation as well just welcome to the channel guys Hopefully you guys do enjoy your stay here. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to get on into this episode of Zer Predictions. So just in case you guys are new and you have not seen one of these episodes before, basically what this is, is me going over what I believe Zer will be selling the next week in Destiny. So I've been doing these episodes here for about a year and a half now. This is probably going to be episode like 80. But either way, what I basically do is I try to predict what Zer is going to sell before he actually sells it. That way we might have a little bit of a heads up and you guys can have a little bit of a heads up on what you may think Zer is going to be selling. And then we all drop comments down below and just try to get involved and really just see who can predict what Zer is actually going to sell before he sells it. So with all that being said, guys, let's get into these predictions, guys. And let's just start things off this time with the Trials of Osiris prediction. So although we also do predict Zer's inventory, I also do sometimes try to predict the Trials of Osiris map. Especially with the recent changes they've been making to Trials of Osiris recently in the past two weeks. With the first off, they had the Spooky Trials. Which was cool, you know, that, don't get me wrong, that was pretty cool for Festival of the Lost. They definitely shook things up and did something different. But now, all of a sudden, last weekend, although the Festival of the Lost is over, they still were shaking things up, and they dropped a brand new map on us that we've never even played Trials of Osiris on, called First Light. Now, a lot of people were probably familiar with this map as I was. It was in the beta, and a lot of people, if you're new to Destiny, probably have never played this map even a single time. But for me, it was not a brand new map for me, and it was still pretty awesome, though, to experience Trials of Osiris on a map so big, and finally be able to use Sparrows as well. Now for this upcoming map, this Friday, I do believe that we're going to see another little trick from Destiny. I do think that Bungie is going to keep towing us with us just a little bit. They had the two weeks of the Festival of the Lost, no spooky, no radar, just to test things out and see how we liked it. So I believe, again, we're going to see two weeks of big maps on Trials of Osiris. We probably will see vehicles again next week, which is why this week I do believe that the upcoming map for Trials of Osiris will be Bastion. So again, this may be a map that a lot of you guys have not played, especially if you weren't in year 1, or you've just never played Combined Arms. So this map is amazing, and I'll definitely be grinding it like crazy this weekend if it is Bastion, so definitely stay tuned for that, guys. And with all that being said, I know it's been a while, but let's actually get into these Zer predictions now. We're going to start things off with the Titan class this week. Last week with the Titans, you guys definitely got hooked up pretty well. You guys got the Twilight Garrison. It is definitely one of the most useful exotics to use in Trials of Osiris. It gets me out of so many deaths, I really can't even count. So I really hope that you guys pick that up this weekend as you will most likely need it again next week for Bastion. Now, let's get into this week's prediction, guys. So with him just selling the Twilight Garrison, there's a very good chance that he might not sell something as good. Now, with the fact that Bastion may be coming around next weekend, I'm really hoping that he brings us a very specific helmet called the Empyrean Bellicose. Now, this isn't a helmet that you really see anyone using all that often or that is even really all that useful in most situations. Now, it also has a pretty unique perk on it that will allow you to hover in midair for a few seconds while you're aimed down your sight with any weapon. So, this is an extremely useful helmet, especially on these bigger maps. If you know how to use this helmet correctly, you can become one of the most unstoppable snipers in the game. You can literally create your own sniper squads with this helmet, as it will just allow you to hover in place anywhere on the map. So, with Bastion coming up next weekend, there's a lot of places where you can be hovering in the air, especially across the map, to get those snipes off. So if he sells this helmet, or really just in general, if you have this helmet, I would definitely go ahead and test it out next weekend. I'm going to be trying to hit a couple trick shots for sure, if it is Bastion. So definitely take out that helmet this weekend if he doesn't sell it. And other than that, guys, let's get into the Hunters now. So the Hunters got hooked up last week pretty well with the Frosties, the first time ever selling those in the Rise of Iron. And I actually did get that prediction right, as that was what I was predicted for the Hunters last week. So congratulations guys, hopefully you guys did pick up those Frosties, they are extremely useful, especially again on these bigger maps, so hopefully you guys did pick those up. So for this week, I think we're going to be getting a pretty rare helmet called the ATS-8 Arachnid. So this helmet has not been sold in 11 weeks, and it has a very unique perk on it that we don't really ever have a use for, unless it's one of these bigger maps for Trials of Osiris. So what this helmet actually does, 
is it allows your golden gun to be zoomed in even farther and it also allows it to be readied for longer. So with these bigger maps, the golden gun super is actually un extremely useful and can your really win you a couple of games just because of that super alone. Now with this helmet on, it will make you a lot more accurate at farther ranges, meaning that you can basically snipe people out from across the map if you're accurate enough, and this helmet will definitely make that a lot easier for you. Also because the maps are a lot bigger, you're going to need to keep your golden gun active a lot longer, which is something that else that this helmet will also do for you. And it'll give you more time to actually find people and shoot them, instead of just having to rush out with your golden gun and possibly die with it being such a big map. So definitely pick this helmet up guys, if you're a hunter, especially a gunslinger this weekend, this is one of the most useful helmets to use on these weekends with the bigger trials maps. So hopefully you guys do pick this up this weekend, and hopefully he does sell it as well. And with that being said guys, let's wrap things up and get on into the Warlocks. So last week the Warlocks got the Apotheosis Veil, which will give you increased health while using your super. Now this is actually pretty useful on these bigger maps, I know I keep saying that, but it truly is. This helmet wouldn't really be useful in a lot of other situations, but because of these bigger maps, that Nova Bomb definitely does come in play with almost every round going to the zone. It definitely does help if you have that Apotheosis Veil on. <clears throat> now you guys have gotten four helmets in a week being the Warlock, so I don't think we're going to be seeing a helmet from the Warlocks, at least I kind of hope not. So this time around, I think the Warlocks are definitely going to be getting a chess piece, and to be honest, I'm kind of torn between two chess pieces. I know I don't usually predict more than one piece of armor, but for this time around, I think it's kind of necessary. So for the Warlocks this time around, I think you guys are either going to be getting the Purifier Robes, which will blind people when you use your self-res. It's actually quite useful sometimes, but you really have to be standing right on top of people when you self-res in order to use that. Or, I think he's also going to possibly be selling the Starfire Protocol. So the Starfire Protocol actually does grant you an additional Sticky Grenade, which can be extremely useful. A lot of people are just unstoppable with those Stickies, so to have two of them is really just even better. Being able to stick two people per round is just crazy. So finally guys, we're going to get into the weapon prediction now. This game is coming to an end. So for the weapon, last week we didn't really get hooked up at that well. We got the Monte Carlo, which is good, just not on the bigger maps. And it was as I predicted, we weren't going to be getting anything too crazy. Now for the weapon this week, I would really like for him to bring a very specific weapon. He's actually only sold it one time in the history of Destiny, and it has literally been 56 weeks since he has brought this weapon last. So if it really is going to be another giant map next week, which I kind of hope it is, I really do want him to sell the Hereafter Sniper Rifle. This is an extremely rare sniper rifle just because of the fact that he's only sold it one time. I know there's plenty of people out there who have never even used it, and also a lot of new players to the game who have never even heard of it because just a lot of people never use it. Now the perks on it aren't all that crazy. You will be able to zoom in farther when you're crouching, so on the bigger maps, it's really the only place we're ever going to be able to use this thing how it's supposed to be used. So I really do hope he brings that this week. I'll, I know I'll definitely test it out a little more and actually be willing to use it a little more if I see Zer selling it. And a lot of people probably will as well. So hopefully we can actually bring that weapon back to life this weekend. And we can get some sniper kills with that hereafter. So those are all of our, my predictions for this week, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, guys, remember, leave your predictions down in the comments. We're going to see who's able to get that inventory correct. Or at least close. You know, just getting one prediction correct is actually pretty good. As there are a lot of items in Destiny nowadays to predict from. So good luck this week if you're participating in your Zip predictions as well. Hopefully one of you guys out there is able to get it correct. And with that being said, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.